Oh yeah! Yeah! Right now, we're gonna be checking out 30 scary videos causing panic among viewers. I mean, it's kinda like 10 videos, but good enough. Anyway, let's get it. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. Um, girl? <gasps> what are you seeing? Oh, heck no. Girl, you must be on drugs, okay? If you pop out from around the corner and look at me like that, it's on sight. I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna slap you in the face. This girl looks like she has to fart. Everybody clear out, get out of the way. That's terrifying, girl. You have the eyes of a frog. You done messed up, girl, sneaking up into my house. Is that the face you make when you forgot to flush? You are not ever allowed to use my toilet ever again. If you guys have used the toilet today, then go ahead, click that subscribe button. We're so close to 15 million, so if you wanna help the channel get there, then just do it now, just click it. And yeah, comment down below how old you are. Are you six? Are you nine? Or are you 12? Let me know. And let's go! This was the final photo that they found on Todd Chernuk's phone. Face value, it probably doesn't look like much. It's just a blurred kind of dark photo of a school hallway at night. If you look a bit closer to the background on the right, you'll see that something is wrong. To explain a little bit more about who Todd was, he was actually a sophomore at Valley Brook High School. He left his laptop in his locker and he did the thing that you're not supposed to do. He went back into the school after dark. The eerie part is that Todd did go missing. He never came back that night. When police investigate, they look at his most recent upload to his iCloud. The photo was this picture. Why would this be the last photo that Todd ever took on his phone before he went missing? In the background, there is somebody <gasps> standing in one of the doorways, oh. and we have no idea who this is. To this day, this person has not been identified. This person has not been identified. It's the janitor. Huh? There you go, man. I solved the case. So do I get paid over here or over there? Or it's a demon. I don't know. It's a doppelganger. What are you? Are you a skinwalker? I don't know. That's scary. Don't go to your school late at night after hours. Don't walk in there. You don't know what creeps are chilling around there. It's not worth it, man. If you're gonna go at night, like bring a weapon, okay? Bring a broom, all right? And then you could just like smack him in the face with the pointy end. That's my weapon of choice. I bring the broom, I bring the mop, and I mop the floor with you. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <gasps> Why is a goat walking on two legs? And going in the chicken coop? What are you doing? Uh, you are not real, you dang wax figures. Nope. It's a no for me. Can't do it. Okay, that's, that's just creepy. I will light all of y'all on fire, okay? I'm pouring gasoline, I'm lighting it on fire just in case. <gasps> Little girl, what are you doing? You just gonna go into the woods. <gasps> oh no. Some ghost just raided your fridge, bro. Yeah. Pull your pants up. Oh, get out. Nope, I'm gone. I'm gone. It's over, man. It's over. Just leave. You see, that's what I'm talking about, black people. He almost investigated. He was about to investigate, but then he's like, you know what? Oh, heck no. Because he saw it open for a second. He's like, wait, wait, wait. It could have been the AC that opened it. But after taking a little bit of a closer look, he's like, heck no. I'm getting up on out of here. I bet you that dude's halfway to Mexico by now. Don't mess with me, man. I'll beat you with the mirror, you dang ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think ghosts can help solve cold cases? No. Well, throughout history, there's been reports of ghosts coming back to tell their loved ones who killed them. Like the story of Fred Fisher. So in 1826, an Australian man by the name of Fred Fisher disappeared into thin air. But this never sat right with his best friend John. Because Fred seemed to have left in the middle of the night and didn't take any of his stuff with him. Fred's neighbor claimed that he had gone back to England and had named him the power of attorney and then his neighbor starts selling all of Fred's stuff. So John starts thinking that something is not right. So one night, months later, John is walking down the street, he's had a few drinks, and right when he's passing Fred's property, he sees a ghostly figure standing in his yard. Nope. It looks exactly like Fred, but he's completely pale with like this dead stare. And the figure just lifts one hand slowly and points past John to a creek that's behind him. So the next day, John goes down to the creek right around where this apparition was telling him to go and 
sure enough, he finds Fred's body. Not only did this ghost lead John to Fred's body, but it also led to the arrest of the sketchy neighbor for his murder. Are you serious? The ghost solved the case? Why can't ghosts just talk and just be like, hey man, somebody got me, it was the neighbor, his name's John Carlo, okay? Report him. My body is right over there, okay? Just go two miles that way, go down the hill and to the left. Make it so much easier. Like, come on, man, talk, dang it. Or maybe they can't, I don't know. There's rules of the afterlife and the supernatural, I don't know. This is your fault, girl. It's all your fault trying to give me nightmares. I guess me and you have no choice but to sleep in the same bed so that I don't have nightmares. I don't make the rules. So if you would politely give me your address and then uh, I'll meet you there in uh, 10 minutes. What are trail cameras? Oh, those are the cameras that like just take photos like every few minutes or something like that. Oh, that's scary. This is my in the background. Little ghost girl. Ugh. Um, <gasps> that a dang Wendigo or skin Skinwalker? Ugh. This is why I don't live in the woods. I would I would never live like out in the middle. Of Bigfoot. The heck? Shoot it. Oh no. Yep, can't do it, man. Can't do it. If you play back your camera, your security cameras, and it recorded this, that's somebody who's part of a cult. It's some dang Satanists out here. Mm -mm, man, I bet you I set all the booby traps. As soon as I see this, I'm setting landmines, okay? You're not getting on my property. I hope you like blowing up, you dang demon. You're gonna be getting blowed up so quick. There's gonna be pieces of demon all over my grass. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mow it up with a lawnmower. <laughs> Oops. This is- Your mama? Oh! Sorry. Liminal Land explained, and if you never heard of this, count yourself lucky because it's terrifying. In 1989, a theme park in New Mexico closed its doors forever after a mass disappearance of visitors occurred. The park was called Liminal Land, and if you go on their website, you are shown images that are both familiar but oddly terrifying. An eerie sense of dread washes over you the deeper and deeper you dig into this mystery. On the website, it even says lose yourself in liminal land, which I don't even know is safe to do. A password protected part of the website that people cracked leads us to an unsettling image of Moloch, which is a powerful being associated with child sacrificing, making this theme park and all of the disappearances even that more weird. But whatever happened at liminal land is still developing. And it seems in time we will know the truth about what happened here as the mystery keeps unfolding. One of the disappearances at Liminal Land is Lena Sorensen. She brought her first grade class to Liminal Land in the winter of 1984. While there, Lena decided to take the children to the park's paradise playrooms. But Lena remained with the children for only seven minutes before she suddenly left the building through the rear exit. The children were left alone for eight hours and never noticed she left. Lena's body was discovered in a patch of dirt behind the liminal land anomaly. The following photo I'm about to show you is an illustration of her facial structure after her body was recovered. Just to warn you, this is extremely terrifying. This is what Lena's face oh. looked like after they found her. This is extremely sinister, and what is going on at Liminal Land? I don't know, man. You're supposed to tell me. Dang, you're the one reporting this. I guess we're not gonna go to Liminal Land. I mean, stick to Disney. Go to Disneyland, Disney World, Universal, like the big name parks. Parks where like, you know, everybody's happy, happiest place on earth. I'm serious. Don't go to like random carnivals and random theme parks and, and stuff, festivals. Don't do it. You know why? Because that's where people get abducted. Look at these people. They have no idea that they're about to fall off that ride. I've never seen anything like it, man. People just going missing at Liminal Land. I found these dolls in my new home basement. No, you didn't. I'd act like I didn't even see. Oh, the eyes follow. The eyes follow you. I'm sure one moved the other evening. Yeah. The eyes are literally following you, girl. Should I keep them? No. I know good and well you're white. I mean, geez, like, if you want to keep that, what's the point? Mm, you just want to be haunted? I would literally get four grenades, and pull the pin, toss them all in there, and I'm blowing everybody up. Just in case, okay? You blow it up, and then they're not haunted anymore. That's just scary, especially if you just found it in your basement. There's a reason they were left there, okay? It'd be one thing if you went to like a vintage, like a thrift shop or something, and then you bought them, but don't just- Oh, I found these in my basement. Should I keep them? No, you dummy. That's like the people that get a couch off the side of the road. They're like, ooh, it's a perfectly good couch. No, 
know it's not. It's got bed bugs. Probably got cockroaches in the cushions. A skinwalker is said to be a type of harmful witch that has the ability to turn into, possess, or disguise themselves as an animal. You're a skinwalker. They have their origins in Navajo culture. And they have horrific stories of what these creatures would do to people. They can disguise themselves as coyotes, foxes, wolves, owls, even crows. Goats? Some people even believe that skinwalkers have the ability to steal people's faces. They're pretty creepy creatures and a lot of people believe them to be real. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll let you know about your boot. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that means. Can you shape shift into a billion dollars, please? And then I'll just take that, deposit that into the bank, if you don't mind, thank you. Ah, look where we paused the video. This girl's making a weird face. Yeah, we caught you, girl, we caught you. That's what you get, girl, that, what? Wait, okay, hold, hold on, okay, I, I look better than that, all right, gee, uh, leave me alone, dang. Um, oh. <gasps> Girl. Yeah, I would have left the house. You don't wait, you don't ask questions, you take your baby and you get the heck up on out of there. Like somebody yanked you on the bed. These demons are freaky. They're just playing with your legs. You're waiting around way too much trying to figure out what happened. I would have got my car keys and I would have been halfway to Canada. I would have been halfway to Afghanistan. It's okay, girl. I'm sure you'll be fine. Just walk it off. Just walk it off. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.